Imagine walking on another planet and looking up at the Earth. Are there any reasons why humankind might ever want to find other habitable planets to live on? Are there any reasons why humankind might need to? We might think we know what's going to happen tomorrow, but we don't. No one does. At least not for sure. There's good news, and there's also the reality of that good news. Scientists agree that of all the other planets in the solar system, Mars would be the most habitable, but that's not saying much. If the goal is to create a self-sustaining Martian world, life would be difficult and dangerous. Let's suppose this is our goal. Mars experiences similar seasons. The length of a day is about the same, and the terrain is similar to some regions on Earth, but the temperatures vary. To the extreme, 70 degrees Fahrenheit to as low as minus 225 degrees. The soil is toxic and radiation from the sun is deadly. Water on the fourth planet from the sun is scarce and would be vital for drinking, growing food, and producing oxygen. So, you know, no water equals cosmic crush, aka dead. Luckily, the planet provides a few raw materials. Soil can be neutralized for growing food and to make concrete. Mars is home to several large caves, which would screen settlers from radiation. Now that we've figured Mars is an option, the reality sets in. How do we get there? Space travel at high speeds across the cosmos will require the right spacecraft, but also knowledge of certain aspects of time and how it bends. Albert Einstein's special theory of relativity proved that the passage of time is affected by how fast an object moves relative to its surroundings. Time dilation. Whoa. In the case of a supersonic trip to Mars, time loss would only be a few minutes. Not much to worry about unless you're going much further. Now, back to speed. Bright minds and researchers are developing phased laser arrays. These act like single powerful lasers, kind of like the Death Star laser, but not all death-like. The array could shoot light at a small spacecraft, and scientists calculate this could accelerate probes to more than 25% the speed of light, reaching Mars in 30 minutes, as opposed to lifetimes. Some claim that lasers are now advanced enough to help launch interstellar space probes. We're 225 million kilometers to Mars. We can get humans there, but it is gonna be a slow and painful process. Are you in? Is it happening in this lifetime? What company, organization, or individual will step up and how soon do you think we'll have a launch? Let us know in the comments. Truly, we should try to get there soon. Matt Damon must be getting lonely.